Hi everybody, in today's video, I have the Colonus de Carol St. Patrick's Day Trio to share with you guys. I am a little bit late on the video. I already post my swatches of this to Instagram, so if you guys have already seen those, but I thought, well, it's still time for St. Patrick's Day. I'm barely getting into my green manicures now, and so um, there's still time to order and probably get before St. Patrick's Day. So for this collection, the polishes are $11.50 a piece, or you can purchase all three polishes in the collection for $30. Um, if you decide to place an order from Colotus de Carol, you can always use my code Polish Talk for 10% off your order. That's not an affiliate link. I don't make any money from it. It's just a little thank you from Catalina to you guys for ordering Polish. So I really like this trio. I thought it was really fun, very festive. I feel like Colotus de Carol just really does um holiday polishes and festive polishes so well i feel like that is one of her specialties if you are into that type of thing like i am and you have not checked out any of the um like holiday polishes from colotus de carol i highly 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 recommend them and let's get started talking about the collection First polish in the collection is called Clover Fiesta. This is described as a mint green crelly with hollow dust and a fun mix of green, yellow, and gold glitters in various shapes and sizes. I really, really liked this, you guys. You know how I feel about my glitter crellies. Um, I do like this. This has like the slightest touch of green to it. It's very subtle, um, but it's really, really pretty. The glitter mix in this is so, so fun. One thing I recommend with polishes like this is to either have them upside down before you polish for like 20 to 30 minutes if you have a shaker, you can always put it in there as well, shake it up, let it sit for maybe five minutes, and then apply. Because um, there is larger glitter in here, when you do that, it does help the glitter kind of come towards the mouth of the bottle so that you can get more glitter out. I did not have an issue getting glitters out of this polish, but that's always like a little tip or trick if the glitter does start to settle just a bit. Um, another thing I recommend with application of this polish is to give yourself dry time between coats. Um, and the reason I recommend that is because the glitters are larger and if you don't give the coats time to dry, um, the larger glitters can move around and create bald spots or you can end up with like a bunch of glitter um, bunched up in one spot and it looks kind of not that fun. Um, so definitely give yourself some dry time. And I also recommend um, possibly like a glitter um, smoothing top coat with this. The glitter in this is larger and sometimes that does want to have the appearance of like texture when it dries. So a nice glitter um, smoothing top coat will kind of settle it all down or two coats of your regular top coat will also work. I love this, you guys. Super, super cute. The glitter mix is adorable. It's so perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Um, just fun, fun, fun. So let's get into the swatching of Clover Fiesta. Next swatch in the collection is called Sham Rock and Roll. This is a glitter topper, um, a clear base with gold hollow glitters, metallic green flakies, matte green squares, and rainbow short slices. Um, I really liked the glitter mix in this. When she calls rainbow slices, that is bar glitter. Um, I was kind of like, what's a rainbow slice? <laughs> when I went to swatch, I was like, okay, it's like rainbowy bar glitter. The bar glitter in this plush does behave very, very well. I do want to say that. I am not always the biggest bar glitter fan. In this topper, I did enjoy it. I felt like it stayed under control. Um, it's just enough to be cute and not too much. If you are not a gar um, if you're not a huge bar glitter fan, I do just want to let you guys know that it's not like overwhelming. Um, the glitter topper is so sparkly. You get great glitter payoff in one coat. I did a little bit of a skittle manicure for you guys to show you guys um, how this glitter looks over some different greens, just to give you some ideas. If you don't have these exact greens, you can always find something in your collection. I'm sure that's similar. I use Olive Ev Polishes Lyra. Olive Eve Polishes Palm Tree, and Olive Eve Polishes Borealis. So I kind of went from um, all the light to dark greens. It looked great over every single one. Then I also went over a white, and for that I used Wet n Wild's French Cream. And for the black, I used Fury from LA Colors Quick Dry Line. Um, overall, I really enjoyed it over the greens and the white. I thought the black, it did get a little bit lost. Um, 
just a tiny tiny bit usually black is like a really great color to show glitter toppers over but i feel like this looked better over um color something about the black sort of swallowed it up um but it really really gorgeous you guys super super fun um and so so festive so let's get into the swatching of sham rock and roll last polish in the collection is keep calm and leprechaun that's the cutest name <laughs> so this is a clover green crelly with aurora shimmer hollow flakes and iridescent chameleon flakies i love this green you guys i feel like it's like a almost like an apple green she calls it a clover green which is pretty much the same thing very grass green very primary sort of like crayon very bright perfect going into spring and summer in my opinion the formula on this was a touch on the sheer side i did swatch this to three coats i think if you apply the thicker coats than i do you may be able to get away with two on shorter nails but i feel like for longer nails you are going to need that third coat but the color is so cute it's so festive um it's very eye-catching which i really enjoy i feel like this would be a cute pedicure too maybe if you um like to wear like shimmery polishes on your toes and just really perfect for st patrick's day i didn't think to pair these together just because um i feel like the flakies would get covered up by the glitter in this but the colors in it you know will work i just um i just wanted to mention that i didn't pair them together because i thought it would be like competing with each other but if you guys are all about the extra 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 you know go for it and let's get into life swatching of keep calm and leprechaun So those are all the polishes in the trio. Um, let's pick a favorite. I think you guys know what I'm going to go for. I am going to go for Clover Fiesta. I just love glitter crellies. I love Coloristic Carol glitter crellies. I love festive glitter crellies. So um, this was so good. Great formula. Um, very beginner friendly, I feel like, for a glitter crelly. So super, super fun. And let me know if you guys picked up anything from this collection since it did already release. If you did not, did anything here catch your attention? Um, anything catch your eye? Let's talk about it in the comments down below. Um, like I said, I will have the Clodis de Carol website link down below, as well as my code Polish Talk and all the information on that, as well as the Polish names um, down in the description box. And that is it for this video, you guys. If you liked it, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks, you guys, for watching. I will see you on the next video. I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.